Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Today I'd like to show you a trick on how you can customize or conditionally formatting donut chart in Power BI. Because if you take a closer look at the visual itself, or maybe you already know that, this is not available by default. But as always, where's the will, there's a way. So let's figure out how. So as an example, let me just show you that it works. So currently I have here my donut chart and I have 1.35 million euros in this case. And if I am above 1 million, it should be green. If it's between 500k and 1 million, it should be yellow. And otherwise, it should be red. So if I choose just one year to filter my data, I click here. I can see that now the chart turns, or in this case, the donut turns red. If I select 2021 instead, I can see it's yellow because my sales are above my threshold of 500k. And in 2022, Always, it's also because the year is not finished yet, it's also below. But let's actually just select two of them. And you can see that now we are above 1 million and you can see it's green. Or if I use my slicer here and remove everything, by default Power BI then chooses all the options. And you can see that now I'm still above and it's still green. So how can we do that? Let me show you the trick. So what I need is, of course, a measure, which I want to analyze. And then I need just to create my little uh, DAX expressions, which allow me then to add to this visual. Because if I click on the visual itself, you see that I have three values in here, which is green, yellow, and red. So actually I created three, let's call them dummy measures. It's not really dummy, but I need them, um, but they're quite easy. So let me just show you how that works. So if I go to green here, and let's just zoom in. Now in this case, I have a measure. So the measure name is a German word, so don't worry about that, but you can apply your own measures, of course, as well. And all I do is I simply check whether the measure is above a threshold. And if so, just use a one, otherwise blank. So blank is the default, so if I don't specify the alternative result. And the same is true for, for instance, yellow. Let's have a look at yellow as well. And you can see that here, if my measure in this case is less or equal to 1 million, at the same time is greater or equal to 500,000, then it should be a one. And the red then is simply uh, below 500,000. So these are my three measures. And then I add them into the value section here. And as soon as I do this, I can then go to my chart, go to the format your visual options, go to the slices here, and then I can just specify which color do I want to map, in this case, to the three different measures I have. Now, if you have more measures, of course, you can then map additional colors. And of course, you can also choose other colors that I do here, right? It's up to you. and also might depend on your, your theme, which works best for you. But this is actually the trick on how we can slice and dice then the donut chart and then have three different kinds of colors for the chart itself. So hopefully that was helpful. If so, please give this video a like, also share it, and please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot and also makes me then produce more videos, of course. So thanks a lot. Take care and hopefully to the next video.